Hey guys, it's Chinamite, and today I'm gonna be ranking those popular ice cream flavors into a tier list. Let's get right into it. First up, we got peanut butter. I don't really know who eats peanut butter ice cream. Like, I don't feel like that's one of them, and you just like, nobody says I want peanut butter ice cream, but I don't know. It's got a Reese's cup in there. I'm gonna put in tasty. It's definitely not great. It's definitely not yucky or up chucky. You know, up chucky is like you're gonna throw it up, like it's that bad. I'm gonna put it in tasty. Bananas up chucky, okay? Here's, I mean, you don't just put fruit in ice cream. And now, strawberry ice cream. A tiny bit of an exception, and I mean just a little bit, right? Like it's not up chucky. It's probably more like yucky. But banana, you have to take one of the worst fruits you can find. It's just so disgusting. And you put it in ice cream. You make it cold, and like what were they thinking? That's the definition of up chucky for banana, right there. That's, that's unbelievable that they even made banana ice cream. I've never had it, but ugh. ugh. Next we got cookies and cream. I'm gonna put cookies and cream in masterpiece. This is my go-to. There's not much to it, especially when there's. I don't know why I say there's not much to it every time. Doesn't matter. Like, especially when there's big Oreo chunks, like, those, those are the best. Cookies and cream, masterpiece. Cherry is yucky. Not quite up chucky, but I just don't think, like, a cherry ice cream is just not something I'm gonna get. Like, ugh. Mm. Yucky, that's, that's yucky. Chocolate peanut butter. So we basically made peanut butter up here and made it a little worse, because chocolate ice cream's not the best. Put it in yucky. I'm gonna put chocolate also in yucky. It's just too rich. I, I don't know if that's the word, but, like, no. No, it's, it's not good. I, I know it's like, like, it's not vanilla, but it's like next in line, but I don't, I don't think chocolate's very good. We're gonna move on to coffee ice cream. Um, it's yucky as well. I, I, I thought I liked ice cream a little more, gonna be honest. Also, if I eat too much ice cream, it's kind of a disaster for me. We're not gonna get into it, but uh, I don't know why. I'm not really the guy to make this ice cream too. It's not a, not a guy who eats a lot of it, but I, I mean, I like the taste, but coffee ice cream's yucky. I don't like coffee. I don't like the smell of coffee, but it's not up chucky. I'm gonna put it in yucky. Cookie dough is the number two for me, uh, right behind cookies and cream. Like I said, it all kind of depends on the amount of cookie dough. Because I do, I do not order vanilla with two accidental cookie, you know, cookie dough crumbs, like, you know, dumped in there. Like, I, I want cookie dough in my ice cream. I want it to be 50-50. Like, I want a lot of cookie dough in that fella. Next, we've got Moose Track. I don't know why. It's usually with an X, but this person, whoever made this choice, put Moose Track with a CK. Um, very tasty. Also known as great. Very good. I don't really know what's in it, but it tastes really good. I, I, I'm not going to get into it. It's just really good. It's also named Moose Track, so I don't like thinking about it much. Moving on to Orange Sherbet. I'm gonna put it in tasty. I don't know what that slurp was, but we're gonna put it in tasty. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty good. I mean, I, got, I feel like if you're just gonna, I don't know, I don't know who eats orange sherbet. Like, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, it's just the colorful sherbet. And we're gonna skip right ahead to Superman flavor. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think if it was just called sherbet, I wouldn't put it in an up chucky, but here we are. Um, yeah, Superman, I've never heard it called that. I don't know if it's just not called that where I'm from, but. Yeah, but I don't like it being called Superman, that's why it's gonna go with Up Chucky. Pineapple ice cream. Okay, I kind of have the same problem, like, you know, see the Up Chucky tier here? I have the same problem with, like, banana being, like, you know, fruit and ice cream, but, like, pineapple at least is a good fruit. I've never had pineapple ice cream. I'm just gonna put it in yucky. The, co the f like, the color of that ice cream? It, it, I can't imagine that's a good flavor. Let's just put it that way. Um, we're gonna put it in yucky, but it's definitely not Up Chucky, but I wouldn't say pineapple is tasty. I don't know why the ice cream inventors couldn't just go away from the fruits and ice cream. Like, if I'm gonna be unhealthy, I'm gonna be unhealthy. I'm not gonna have raspberry in my ice cream. For that reason, it's gonna go in yucky. Like, there's a common theme here. You put fruit in ice cream, I'm not gonna like it. Sorry. I'm gonna put vanilla in great. And the reason is, I, I, I feel like, like, obviously, I'm gonna say, like, it's the classic ice cream flavor. But you can put toppings on it, and I think that's what makes vanilla really good. Like, anything goes with vanilla, so you can make it, like, chocolatey. But then you just get chocolate ice cream, which sucks. But it doesn't matter. Vanilla's a great ice cream. Moving on. Oh, this is strawberry. I said I put strawberry and yucky. I am going to. But the taste of it's actually not bad. But like I said, like, name it something else and tell me it doesn't have strawberries in it. I think I like it a little bit more. So we're going to put it in yucky. Mint chocolate chip. I'm going to put it in great. I feel like this is one that's kind of borderline masterpiece. I wouldn't call mint chocolate chip a masterpiece. There's definitely room to improve on. I feel like the problem is that, like, the chocolate chips in mint chocolate chip are a little too small. And then I don't know how to explain it. Then go great. Last up, we got butter pecan or pecan. I don't even know how to say it. But here's the problem. Okay, I'm going to put it up chucky. That's an obvious one. But, okay. We had a common trend of not liking fruit in my ice cream, right? So, we're gonna have fruit in my ice cream. Whatever, at least it's like a sweet flavor. We're just gonna put nuts in my ice cream. Like, what? what is that? Like, and they're big nuts, too. Like, it's not like I'm not gonna notice them. Like, why would they... Who does that? Who puts nuts in ice cream? It's unbelievable. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know what you guys agree with and disagree with.